right before uh, Corona attacked us, uh, we were counting days when the world will be over. Uh, the global warming is taking over the whole world. And we are talking about how many days or months and years left for the human being to survive on this planet when the temperature of the world goes over two degrees Celsius and that's not too far. And uh, children, uh, teenagers were marching on the streets all over the world, uh, Fridays for Future, saying that uh, you have destroyed our life. You older generation uh, has destroyed our life because we have no place to go. This world will be over before we are grown up. You have been totally irresponsible in making that happen to us. And if these teenagers are demonstrating on the street, imagine all the unborn grandchildren, uh, what they will complain. They will have no life on this planet. So that was the situation prior to coronavirus. And when we talk about waking up the machine uh, to go back there, uh, uh, that would be quite insane. Why should we go back there? So waking up the machine will mean uh, this will take us back to where we stopped. And going back to that level would be suicidal. Uh, it's committing suicide knowing fully well that we are going to finish uh, in a uh, few years. And on top of this global warming, I point out that uh, this is not alone as it uh, problem created for us before the corona crisis, wealth concentration. All the wealth of the world is concentrated in a handful of people and it's getting worse and worse every day. And luckily, when the machine is now put to sleep, uh, that uh, process has stopped. There is no wealth concentration of that kind anymore. Uh, and then uh, we're saying that this is an explosive situation if you continue like this concentration of wealth in few hands, uh, it will create a ticking time bomb, uh, which will explode politically and socially and make impossible for human being to interact and survive on this planet. And luckily, that process has been stopped. And then there's another process which was in progress, removal of people from the workplace and make them unemployed because of the introduction of um, artificial intelligence. Machines will be working, human beings will be pushed out of work. And it will happen very quickly. A massive number of people, billions of people will be out of work. And we don't know what will happen to the world in a situation like that. And all these things were coming. It's not uh, unknown, it's not, it's not controversial. You may put the date here and there, but everybody has, knows that this is the direction we are moving, the global warming, wealth concentration, massive unemployment. Uh, so Corona has done us a great favor, putting this machine to stop. Now, should we go back, wake it up? My answer is no going back. We don't want to go back. We don't wake up this machine. We want to create a new machine. We can do that and go in a different direction so that we create a world where there'll be no global warming. There'll be no wealth concentration. There'll be no massive unemployment. We can design it and make it happen. So this is the good time to do that. And there we have to make sure what kind of um, uh, engine we build for that purpose. One of the things that we have to make sure we build in a proper way is the financial system. Because the finance current, the one that was uh, uh, running the whole machine of the system uh, is a machine, the, uh, the financial system is a vehicle who mobilized all the wealth from the bottom and pushed it in the top, creating wealth concentration. And so this is a financial system which works in a wrong direction. It takes wealth from everybody and puts it in the hands of a few people. So we don't want to take this machine with us. We have to design financial system in a different way, 
which will be working in the reverse way. Take the wealth that is concentrated in few hands and gradually bring it down and distribute it uh, among all the people in a, in a financial system, not by question, not by government order, not by uh, uh, grabbing things from others. It's a natural process of uh, working of the economic machinery, which will gradually uh, create a system where wealth is shared by everybody else. And we'll make sure that we do not bring the artificial intelligence into that system where we will have a new world for ourselves. And the financial system uh, has to rebuild in a way that it transforms the economy and transform the people. Today's economic system, uh, the financial system denies the services for the vast majority of people, saying that they are not creditworthy. That's where we created the Grameen Bank in Bangladesh to challenge that. We said the right question is whether people are creditworthy or not. The right question is whether the banking system is people worthy or not. You have created the banking system which is totally unworthy of people. It doesn't help the people. It deprives the people. So we have to create a new system. So that's where uh, one issue becomes important when we talk about that financial system. We talk about microcredit, coming bank, non-collateralized banking instead of banking system defend, uh, dependent on uh, collateral only exclusively. So we have to undo that. And a social business banking system. Grameen Bank is a social business uh, banking bank. Meaning that when we talk about social business, as you are familiar, is a business to solve people's problem rather than make money. So we have no intention of making money by running businesses like banking systems. So we create microcredit bank as a social business bank. So there's no intention of owners making personal profit. So the idea of concept of a social business has to be integrated in the financial system, also in the business system. That is the core of the redesigning of the entire system. And by doing that, we bring uh, investment for creating social business to solve problems that we see around us, problem of water, problem of healthcare, problem of um, uh, activities for the unemployed young people, and so on. So this is the kind of uh, financial system we want to build. 